Hello, this is Erin, and I am doing the fourth out of five of ink samples from Goulet uh, Pen. And so for this set of five, we have Sailor Shikiori Shimoyo, Sailor Ink Studio 162, Robert Oster, Sydney Lavender, Pilot Orochizuku, Fuyu Shogun, and Sailor Siboku, Pigmented Blue Black. And I will be swatching in my Nanami Cream Tomoe River Paper and my Galen Leather Co. White Tomoe River Paper. Sorry, just wanted to close the door because my family is home and the boys are playing video games. So I will do my swatches on the white Tomoe River paper and the cream will be off to the side and I'll do a little um, ink swatch there and then be able to compare them. Now for the third video of these swatches, I swatched this Private Reserve pearlescent black silver and not only did I really not like it on the paper, but then today when I got ready to do this video and I turned the page, I saw all of this. So that is really not my favorite ink. If anyone would like it for um, their collection or for art, let me know. I'm happy to send it to you because I will not be using it. All right, so the first one I'll do is the Sailor Siku uh, Siboku Pigmented Blue Black. Minted blue black. So certainly for Sailor, this is a very pigmented ink. It's an interesting color. It looks like there's probably going to be some red sheening, and it's got this grayish undertone to it. Now, some of you are aware I'm on the search for the perfect navy. I don't think this is it, but it is. Really nice. All right, Shikiori Shimoyo. Sorry if you can still hear the noise from the video games in the background. It's fascinating. I would have never guessed this, but I actually really love that my son and his father play video games. Makes my heart happy. 
Must not have got much ink on there. Let me try that again. There we go. That's better. And this is closer to the color that I'm looking for. So I'm glad that I've got this to compare. So this is Sailor. Shikiori. Shimoyo. And I don't know why my Kakamori nib is being a little uh, kind of hard starty for this ink swatching. Not quite sure why that is. Oh, that's pretty. It's a very pretty dark blue, very close to black. It might be a little bit too dark for what I'm looking for. And we have Sailor Ink Studio 162. I'm starting to get a little collection of Sailor, which I'm very happy about. So let's see, ooh. Oh, it's got chromo shading. I love it. I like it a lot. I wonder if it's the way I'm holding it. This is number one, six, two. Love the line differentiation with this nib. Beautiful. So it's got some purple coming through. Do the Pilot Arosha Zuku Fio Soy Gun. Fuyu Soy Gun, I think. Oh, that's a pretty color, too. I love that I act surprised about the colors that I picked out and actually liking them. But I did order this at the very end of December. And so it's been a couple of weeks. And I forgot what I ordered. So my surprise is genuine. Now I heard recently in one of um, Ink Splat Manda's videos, she was talking, someone had asked the question of how many inks she had and she referenced, I think an app or some platform where she's tracking her inks. I gotta go back and find that video. Um, I might wanna do that. Because certainly I've got this book. Um, well, I have this that I just started using. And then 
I've got this book that I've been using and um, that one has all of all of the inks in my collection. But it'd be nice to have one space to go to to get the list of names. All right, and Robert Oster, Sydney Lavender. Now this one I have wanted for a while, so very excited to have this sample. And if I like it in person as much as I've liked it in other swatch videos and online, I might purchase it. I tried to do the swatches in my other book a little bit bigger because the last couple of videos I felt like it they've been very small. I've also got a nice little collection now of Robert Oster. I spelled that wrong. I apologize. Got a little carried away. Is a little darker than I expected. It has a little bit of shading. It looks like of some kind of a bright, little little bit of a bright pink. All right, so let's take a good look at these. So we have the Sailor Siboku. It's got a really nice grayish navy. I was thinking there might be some red shading there. Mm, it's a tiny bit, but certainly not as prevalent as some of the other inks that, that have a red sheen. That's got really nice shading. Love it. The Sailor Shikiori Shimoyu actually seems to have like a copper um, Sorry, that was not very well focused. Seems to have a little bit of a copper sheen to it, which is fascinating. And then we have Sailor Ink Studio 162, which has that purple shading. Oh, that That's everything. I love that. The Pilot Oroshizuku Fuyu Shogun. It's a nice... Um, very gray navy, very gray navy, much more gray than the Sailor Siboku. I, and I do really like that. It's a very warm gray. And then the Robert Oster Sydney Lavender, which like I said, a little bit darker in this swatch than I thought, but this, this over here is a little bit truer to what I was expecting. Now bringing over the cream paper. So we have the Siboku, the Sailor Shikiori Shimoyo, the Sailor Ink Studio 162, the Pilot Hiroshizuku Fuyu Shogun, and the Robert Oster Sydney Lavender. So putting them oops, more side by side, so the Sailor Siboku, a um, little bit brighter on the cream paper and the seems to have a little bit more shading. The Sailor Shikiori Shimoyo um, seems to be a bit more saturated on the cream paper, but it still has that copper sheen to it. And the Sailor Ink Studio 162 is, um, again, darker, but... Look at that pop of light purple. The Fuyu Shogun. Um, oh, 
I just love this paper. I love this paper. I'm sorry, Galen Leather Co. The Nanami paper is really nice. Um, and the Sydney Lavender on the Nanami paper has a little, I don't know, it's just different. It's like a little bit more shading. That little bit of pink is coming through a bit more. Yeah, it's very nice. So these are the inks that I'm swatching today. They're very on theme. I didn't plan that out. I looked at brand, clustering them by brands um, and I had a, some sailors left over and I had a Robert Oster that was beyond the five. And then I just paired it with the pilot Iroshizuku because I think that was the only pilot Iroshizuku sample I got. Um, but I, you know, this is the outlier, but the rest of them really go together. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the swatch video and have a lovely rest of your day.